There is great comfort in the thought that the years of darkness and danger in which the children of our country have grown up are over and please God forever. We shall have failed and the blood of our dearest will have flowed in vain if the victory which they died to win does not lead to a lasting peace, founded on justice and established in goodwill. To that then, let us turn our thoughts on this day of just triumph and proud sorrow, and then take up our work again, resolved as a people to do nothing worthy of those who have died for us and made the world such a, such a world as they would have desired for their children and for ours. This is task to which no honour binds us. In the hour of danger, we humbly committed our cause into the hand of God, and he has been our strength and shield. Let us thank him for his mercies, and this hour of victory commit ourselves and our new task to the guidance of that same strong hand. His Majesty the King, George VI, 8th of May 1945. Tomorrow is the official end of the Second World War in Europe, VE Day, 8th of May. The war had ended long ago for Germany and its people. The leaders were blind to it to the end. And it's hard to imagine that 75 years ago, much of Europe on the continent and here in Britain lay ruined and severely damaged, and millions upon millions of people had lost their lives fighting. Second World War, we feel the very worst of humanity in the sense that the concentration camps happened and the extermination camps. A whole, more than one race of people were almost wiped from this, this planet. To forget is a crime, a warning from history, and when they're all gone, who is to tell their story? Imagine, 75 years ago tonight, many millions of men are presumably getting ready for the night ahead. Some are probably still fighting and dying as we speak. Berliners are still being subjected to all manner of things, but then in any town and village liberated or taken in the war. People will still die in the next couple of days ahead. Uh, some fighting start, only stopped around the 10th, 11th of May. Thankfully, the Werewolf Resistance Network, that uh, organisation never really went into effect. Uh, mostly young men and women that were meant to carry on the fight after the Allies rolled over them, but it never really amounted to anything serious from the looks of it. Churchill delayed news for fear of upsetting Stalin, according to the Times on Monday. The King has aged in six years of war. Hitler's dead, Mussolini's dead, huge swathes of the Nazi leadership have killed themselves or been taken prisoner. The Soviets are now the dominant force on the continent. There's possibility of a third world war, no one knows for sure, but it never happened thankfully. So many men, after soon in the next few months, find a way of getting by. They'll throw church out of power in this country. It's time to get ready for the peace. They'll carry on the fight, some of them against Japan. People tend to forget that that carried on into August, September. I mean, the. Uh, Signing that officially ended World War II on them was September 2nd, 75 years before I was born to the day. So there's all that. Six years of war ended. Germany 
has to pick itself up now. Building it. everything is ruined it seems in Germany. Berlin's absolute bomb site in more ways than one. The women do the hard work. Most of the men are either prisoner or dead. Russia will bounce back. France will recover. West Germany, Berlin is a totally different city within a few years at the end of the war. Britain though will enter a deep recession. Put on the austerity Olympics in 48. And the king will die in 52. And we'll get ourselves a queen who's reigned over us ever since. And it's tough times ahead. But tomorrow, hopefully, some of us will remember those who 75 years ago didn't live to see FIE Day. Men were still dying, as I say, until the end. So, with my improperly poured glass of Pims, raise a salute to those men and everyone that paid the ultimate price in the worst war in human history. And pray God. We never see another war, because if we do, it might be the end of humanity as we know it. Man has now thought of better ways to kill his fellow man. So don't let those sacrifices made go in vain. Sometime tomorrow, just remember, even for a fleeting second, what our grandfathers did, so we can enjoy all these freedoms, even in lockdown. So here's to those chaps. Those on the home front. And in the words of Winston Churchill, I don't know why I'm reading off the screen, I know anyway. Advan the German war is now at an end. Advanced Britannia, long live the course of freedom. God save the king.